Hello friends, today we are going to tell about modeling, assembly and analysis of the mechanism consisting of pivot, slider, pivot and a guide. The whole assembly looks like this one. This at the base it is having two pivots. At the central we are having a slider. This short link is considered as the driver and the long one is known as the guide if you see the drawing it looks like and this is the pivot second one is the slider third one is the driver and the fourth one is the guide let's see the final drawing again the, at the base we are having two pivots and the big one is the guide and the small link is the driver and in between we are having the slider right we have to do this mechanism using PTC crew by the same time we will model and assemble also after assembly we will show the analysis like uh, we have to find out the uh, velocity acceleration of different parts or different components at different points by the same time we will show the mechanism how it will run by using a servo motor at any specific location we will show how the mechanism will run and also will trace the curve on a of any specific point like how the path will be generated when the mechanism is running tracing of the curve will be generated by using this basic curve uh, first place the drawing we should draw it by using solid works then let's get started it is version m5 that is the latest version First of all, we have to open a folder in the desktop by the name of mechanism when we have to save all our data. Right? Okay. Selecting the working directory at the beginning. Working directory will be at the desktop. Mechanism analysis. Okay. At the beginning, we will draw the first pivot one. It will be started with new part and the use default template should not be checked we have to uncheck this one and give the name of the first component as pivot okay and the unit we should select it will be like millimeter newton second part solid as we have seen the drawing it will be drawn on the front plane so taking from front plane sketch then sketch view first of all we have to draw two central lines and at the intersection of these two central lines we have to draw two concentric circles of radius 19 and inside one diameter 6 millimeter. Next, we have to draw two straight lines. And that we connected. Finally, we have to provide smart dimension. The inner one is having inner diameter is only 6 millimeter. And the outer one is diameter 38. Height is 25 millimeter. Drawing is complete. This one is not that much of important. You know, we can take this at the center also if we take zero. Fit view. This is the drawing. Next one we have to trim some specific lines to make a complete drawing trimming out some lines drawing is complete so exit from the sketch then we have to extrude it and the extrude can be done from the mid plane extrude thickness is 12 millimeter it will be done from the mid plane 
drawing is complete. We can save it right now. We should save it in the directory what we created before in the desktop mechanism analysis. We save it. Next part is we have to draw the slider. Let's see the drawing of the slider. Slider consisting of a slot inside a rectangular plate. It's better to draw from the right side, right plane. So we have to draw a rectangle of length 24 and height 50. Then inside that we have to make a slot 24 by 50. Okay. Let's get started. Again, we're starting a new part. Uncheck the default template and name of this one should be slider. Okay. So you should check millimeter newton second part solid. This component we are drawing from right plane. Right plane selected, then sketch. Sketch view. We have to draw a rectangular part. Let's put a dimension to that. It is twenty four by fifty. It's twenty four by fifty. Let's see the drawing again. You will see from right side it is 24 by 15, 24 by 50, and inside the we have a slot from extra from external side 6 millimeter. Okay. Another rectangle is equal to be drawn. Let's provide dimension to that. So equal six millimeter. So equal to twelve, and this one should be thirty eight. From top it should be 6. So the drawing is almost complete. Now green check and that to be extruded from the middle plane. And the extrude depth is 76 mm. Done it is extruded 76 mm. And again at the middle of this front plane one cylindrical pusher should be there with a depth of 12 millimeter and diameter 6 millimeter. Let's draw it sketch, sketch view. Then here, this center we have to draw one center line to get the central point. Now, let's draw the circle. Smart dimensions, it will be from left side 38 and diameter is 6 mm. Drawing is complete, so green check and extrude. Extrude depth will be 12 mm. Done. Green check, drawing is complete. We can save it. I should save it in the folder what we did before. Done. Next one we have to draw the driver on the side. Let's see the drawing what it is equal. Second part is done. Third one is the driver. It is having 250 mm length and outside 2 radius. 
outside radius is 19 mm and inside one dia is 6 mm. So actually two sides were having one hole, another is having extended cylindrical part. Okay, let's get it. So again starting new one part unchange the default template. The name should be driver. Okay, do we millimeter newton second part solid? Okay, we have to start this one from front plane. Let's take front plane sketch, sketch view. First, let's draw a rectangle. At the end of rectangle, so two cycles to be provided. Let's see the dimensions. 250 millimeter length and radius is 19 millimeter outside. 250 and 19. Then another cycle is required. Okay, done. Now let's provide dimension. Length is 250 millimeter. And the diameter is 38 millimeter. Inside diameter is 6 millimeter. Drawing is almost complete. Now we have to trim some portion. Let's trim it. Inside the hole also, some length should be trimmed out. Pressing the left side. Complete. So green check and extrude. You can extrude from the center line and the extrude thickness should be 12 mm. It's not complete again because the thing is here at this point one cylindrical portion should be there. That means small pin type object you have to make it. Select the skip plane, sketch, sketch view. To get the center line, to get the center point, we have to get the center line. So draw the circle of diameter 6 mm. Right. Let's get the dimension. Diameter is 6 mm. Drawing is complete. So, okay, green check, and we have to extrude this one. And the extrude length is 12 mm. Drawing is complete. We we'll save this part. What to save? We have to save it in the desktop while the in the folder mechanism analysis. Okay, done. Now the last part that is the guide that is having length 650 millimeter. Almost all are same. The length is varied. Let's draw that guide again. So we're starting from new. Part name should be guide. Uncheck the default template. It will millimeter newton second part solid. And we have to start from front plane. Front plane sketch, sketch view, and starting from the rectangle. Drawing rectangle. And two and you have to draw two cycles. Let's see the dimension again. It's 650 millimeter. Outside radius is 19 and inside diameter is 6 millimeter. Okay. Again, right side, another circle will be there. Now let's provide dimension. This one 38 and small diameter will be 6 mm. The leg should be 650, I think. Leg should be 650 mm, right?
the drawing is complete so we have to trim some portions let's trim those portions right now left side is trimmed out right side is required to be trimmed now done inside the small circle also some length should be trimmed out done drawing is complete so green check and extrude extrusion should be done from the middle pen and the extrude thickness should be 12 mm done now next part is here this face you have to make one pin so select the sketch pen is selected now sketching now to get the center point we'll draw the center line at this point done starting the circle let's put dimension to the circle dimension equal to diameter 6 mm drawing is complete green check then extrude extrusion length is 12 mm complete but to save it save in the folder what we created before that is desktop mechanism analysis we'll save it there all the parts have been saved in the mechanism analysis folder so to start from again new instead of part we have to take assembly here right now and again the default template should not be checked in so cancel it and we can put the name as mechanism analysis okay mechanism is okay done and it will be millimeter newton second assembly design okay so we are starting from assembly First one we require the pivot or pivot. Okay. While putting this one, we should require the default position at the beginning. So default position is set. First pivot we have taken. This is the best base one we have to fix at the base. Next part, another pivot we have to fix at a certain certain distance away. We know the total maximum length of the big length is 650. In between somewhere else, these two pivots should be fixed. The minimum length should be 300. Let's take the distance between two pivots, 350 millimeter, and we have to put some kind of like distance in between them, like uh, sideways distance should be there. Some kind of distance from this face to that face, some distance should be there. So it should not be in the same plane. Okay. Let's take the second one again. The second one is again pivot that to be taken again. So taking the pivot again. Now for assembly, we have to consider three different constraints. In this case, first constraint will be the bases should be coincident. We are taking the bases of these two. It is coincident here. Now next constraint we can see that it should not be in the same plane. It should be some some offset distance should be there between this frame and that pen offset distance should be 6 mm that is uh, this one is read from the drawing itself now it is not coincident it should be distance is 6 mm done another constraint is required that constraint is the distance between these two paper should be minimum 300 so we are providing the distance as 350 mm right we can take this pens also we can take this pen and this pen distance okay let's take this distance this pen this plane and the distance is 350 millimeter okay done these two are having distance in between them 6 350 millimeter now for better understanding we can put some colors to these things right let's put colors what color is required let's provide this one green color this one control this one Okay, both are point in, in color. So take the guide again, assemble guide. Okay, that is come. 
Now for better assembly or for better understanding, we can put these two things close together. By dragging itself it can be done and again we can rotate this. That is for understanding only. That is not required at all. But in this way you can have, you can align these different parts together in a better way. Now see this part and that part should be done with using pin. Pin joint should be the in between them. Taking this one and the hole is done. Now the surface is equal. This surface should be meeting with this surface. Done. Complete. If the assembly is complete, it will show different color. It will be like little bit of orange type color. It's done. First part is complete. If you like, you can rotate a little bit also. If you like, no problem at all. Okay. Right. Next part is we have to insert the slider in between in this guide. So insert the slider. So assemble slider part open. It has come. We have to bring it close to the guide. You can rotate it also. You can rotate this one. You can rotate this one again. This is not necessary, but it is helpful, little bit of helpful. Let's see the distance between them, it is long distance, so we can bring it close together. Okay, now in between them, we want to provide slider mechanism. Slider mechanism is here. For sliding, we will select one edge. This edge should be meeting with the edge of this big driver. This edge. We select perfectly this edge. Okay. Next part is one plane is equal. Next part is plane or surface. This plane should be meeting with the bottom face of the guide. Done. Done means the guide colors is changing. Okay. Fit view. Okay. Now we can do one thing. You can slide this one by dragging this one by dragging the slide inside. This is not necessary. Okay. Done. Now we can give we can provide colors to these different members. Okay, let's take this color is as yellow. The guide will be provided yellow color. This one, okay, and this slider can be provided red color. Done. Next driver is required. Driver to be put at this link at this pivot center. Taking the driver, right? Driver is equal now. What is required? Let's see the drawing. This part is small part. Small part is actually driver. Driver is equal. We'll take the driver. Okay. This is the driver. Now for better assembly, you can put this one close to the pivot part. Now in between these two, we want pin joint. We have so from user defined, we are taking pin joint. This one should be connected with this hole, and the surface is also equal. Surface means this surface should be meeting with this surface. Done. Right. Now, if you want, you can drag it also. This is not necessary, right? It's not necessary. Okay. 
now it is not complete if we click this green click green check it will not be complete but this same time we have to provide two different connections one connection is here another connection with this slider so we have to set a new connection starting from placement new set and new set should be pin connection so it is pin provided already now we can fit the fitting this one pin is equal so select this hole and the pin next part is surface is the surface should be meeting with this surface it's done complete fit view this is the drawing final drawing we can cancel all this axis and this point and this plane display this is our drawing we can save it Save this work. Okay. This model is not generated. We have to generate this one by using this part. Degenerate. The model is generated. Now we can save it. Saving this one in the desktop mechanism analysis folder by the name of by the name of mechanism and assembly. That. Next part is you have to go for analysis. In analysis, what should you do? Analysis, first of all, we'll check how the mechanism will run by providing a servo motor with a specific angular velocity. Next part, we'll go for dynamic analysis and we'll see how the different members will be having a velocity acceleration and at different points we can find velocity acceleration also. By the same time, we can check the tracing curve. That means at any point, by the movement of this mechanism, it will trace out a specific path that will be carved out, that should be traced out. These things we can be shown. Now for mechanism analysis, we are starting from applications mechanism. First of all, we have to take the servo motors and let's take the unit of this one. We are not taking angular position, we are taking angular velocity and let like profile fill in details. It will be angular velocity and angular velocity should be 30 radian for degrees per second. Okay. Now we are going for mechanism analysis. Analysis definition 2, we are going for dynamic analysis and duration 30 seconds. And we can go for MOPOS already given and external loads we are providing enable gravity and enable all fixtures. Then run. Mechanism is running right now. Complete. Okay. We have to make a film regarding this mechanism. That could be run for playback signal. Playback. Next, we should move to playback. It will generate the video. Starting playback. Let's make the frame a little bit higher and the speed also a little higher. Let's run this. It is running smoothly running. Is running very smoothly, we can increase the speed also. Okay, fine. Then let's capture it. We should stop it and capture this one in the form of video. While capturing, we are having different versions or different formats. One format is MPEG, or another will be AVI. We can save this one AVI format and pixels is 640 by 295 you can increase this one also like 108 p also you can make it okay and the frame rate is 25 frames per second we'll save this one right now the work is being saved here
is complete the work is saved already next part we have to go for analysis for analysis we have to start with measures we have already done analysis definition 2 we have already done now our task is to find out velocity acceleration of different parts or different places or different uh, locations right so we are finding acceleration okay so we have to do again acceleration position will be replaced by acceleration now select the location okay acceleration is also generated it is negative acceleration minus 12.894 degrees per second square right velocity position should be replaced by velocity take the location of velocity okay graph of velocity this is the velocity right so along x axis we are having time and the y axis we are having velocity if you want to plot these things together you can plot it again now here the unit uh, the spelling is wrong you can change it like to velocity okay now the thing is if you want to plot these thing two things together can take control velocity and acceleration then plot the graph it will show both the things right velocity and acceleration plot together along x axis we have in time and y axis we have velocity and acceleration together we can compare these things and we can have some representation next thing if you want to plot these things separately that can be done for me so by graph measure separately you click okay it will show velocity and acceleration separately the upper part is acceleration and the down part is velocity graph x axis time y axis velocity here again x axis time y axis acceleration so velocity and acceleration of that component of that location you can find we could find out again another thing you can do that is tracing the curve we can it can be done how it can be done suppose you want to find out the path followed by this point that can be done from here analysis trace curve now for tracing the curve first of all let us select the definition analysis definition that is which one it has already done now the path to be found now the location select this one then preview selected and to preview the path is already generated yeah this is the path that color is violet color this path is generated by this location this is the tracing curve on this one okay so for mechanism analysis what could you find out we could find out velocity and acceleration of any specific point or a specific location at any location or any member you can find the velocity acceleration by the same time you can find out different things like the tracing curve that okay uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you like it, please subscribe and share and if you are having any kind of doubts please write to me thank you again for watching this video thank you so much